hole in the middle of your canvas. And if you worked really hard, can you guys stop? In this video we're going to talk about the differences of the two main types of canvases to help you make a better decision um, to make an educated choice when you start your project. So the first and more common option is the stretched canvas. That's this guy. I know this is a large one but I didn't have any smaller ones to use for this video and I didn't feel like going out to buy some. Now this type here, um, it's easier to hang because it's wrapped around a frame, which is typically wood. So there's this little edge here where you can hang on like a picture hanger. My favorite is the push pin because it's easy, it's versatile, it's cheap. Okay, now one thing about this though, this type, is when you're painting it, you have to make sure that you paint the edges to give it a more finished look, unless you plan on framing it. But especially for this type, it's going to be more expensive especially because it's raised and it's not like your typical picture. Um, it, it would actually require some, for the lack of a better term, effort. And you would probably need to get it done professionally. Although it looks pretty good just hung up as is, which most of my pieces are not framed. I don't think I have one that is framed. I find that the color going right over the edge to touch the wall, like on this side part here, it actually looks really classy if you do it right. So I did mention this is more expensive, but there's two other downsides to this uh, type. Well, for one, it's thicker. Like I said, it's wrapped around a frame. So when it comes to storing, especially if you live in a small apartment or have a lot of paintings, they're gonna take up more room and they're also gonna be more fragile because this whole center part, it's just, it's just stretched so it's it's more delicate and you can actually push on it and bend it and sometimes when the canvas is wet it typically um, warps so for example when you push on it it'll actually dip I've had it happen where a, a painting will fall onto another painting and the corner will fall into the center part of the painting and it will gouge out a hole in the center of the painting and it's really hurtful almost because you work so hard on that and you, you you really want it to stay safe. I guess that's where framing would come in handy however it's costly. I do prefer this one over the other one I'm about to show you just because of the professionalism it has not that it's more professional than the other kind, I think it's just the stigma behind this being kind of the original type of canvas. Not that it's the only type, I mean you can really paint on anything if you want it. You can paint on cardboard for all that matters. Um, but this is my favorite mostly because I think it looks cleaner, mainly because of the uh, hanging process. But I can just hold it up with my fingers and you can't even tell what's holding it. Also you can hide things behind it, it's pretty cool because it's lifted up. Okay and the second one now that we're getting into, there's more than just these two but these are the more traditional kind, um, is canvas panel. This little guy, he's so thin, he's great for storing because you can stack probably five of these on top of each other and they're still gonna be thinner than your stretched canvas. These ones would probably be best for beginners, the canvas panel. These are the ones they actually had us use in high school. The reason for that is because they're more sturdy so they can handle more, um, you know, like especially for people who aren't familiar with um, paint brushes, not kind of the, the ritual of painting because you don't have to be careful about the weak spot in the middle it's all just canvas glued onto cardboard and in some cases wood but most store-bought are going to be on cardboard 
this the two that I've showed you are actually artist loft you can get really good sales at Michaels especially when they have their canvas sales especially with their coupons that they have daily so the canvas panels if you're trying to frame it professionally I would go with this kind and these ones you could probably use most generic frames I mean finding one to size might be a little tricky so you can probably get them framed no problem fairly cheap I mean not that framing anything is gonna be cheap however it'll be more cost-effective than the stretched canvas they're really nice and thin I do appreciate the thinness of this canvas however it's problematic when it comes to hanging it on the wall because currently I have to put two push pins at the bottom rest my canvas on top and then secure another one at the top to keep it from falling off the wall and it's not that nice looking I mean you can get away with some smaller hanging tactics or some clear push pins which is what I'm currently doing but another method this I didn't paint this you can actually buy picture hangers and attach them instead now I tried doing this before and you have to be extremely careful when doing this because I tried to do this on a canvas panel panel canvas canvas panel and the nails that are meant to hold this in place punctured the canvas and it was actually for a friend of mine and I was devastated because she was regifting it for her nephew. Better option would to be use some super glue or hot glue to stick that on instead. Okay, let's recap. So the canvas panel is cheaper and more durable, probably easier to frame, so it's probably best for beginners. The stretched canvas hangs nicer has a more professional kind of finish to it. It's more clean, a little bit harder to handle, but it looks gorgeous on the wall. Art is all based on preference, and this is just my opinion. I mean, I've been painting for like eight years. Oh my God, eight years I've been painting. That's crazy to think about. And these are just little things I've learned along the way. It's not necessarily what I've been taught just kind of helpful tricks I guess that I've picked up from dealing with canvases for so long. In the end art is all about preference and technique and style. Obviously some would be better for other projects like if any of you know what a grounds piece is where you glue stuff onto your canvas and then paint over top of it for added texture definitely go with panel because a stretch canvas isn't going to be able to hold up to all that weight and pressure. But, like I said, everything's up to you. If you wanted to try doing a grounds piece on a stretched canvas, by all means, go for it. Um, it could turn out great, for all I know, but, I mean, would you want to risk it? It's up to you. It might just be experimental or just for fun. You can do that too. You can actually approach a project any direction with any tools you want. You don't have to listen to me, you don't have to listen to anybody. That's the great thing about art, especially painting, because everything's in your hands. Just make sure that you're making an educated decision beforehand, because your canvas is the canvas of your piece, and if you don't start strong, you might not get a strong result. And you know, art is a masterpiece. You want to make sure it lasts forever. <laughs> what you choose to do with this information is up to you. Have fun. Okay, I don't know. Is that, is that 10 minutes? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.